Hey everyone, it's Nicole coming in with a, I guess, semi-DIY. Um, one day I was really bored and I wanted to try to find something to do, something creative. So I came across this, across this little project. Now, I don't know if anybody has actually done um, a video on something similar or if there are videos out here that does the same thing. So if it is, I apologize. I'm not trying to, you know, swagger jack or anything like that. But I had some little wooden, I guess, laser cutouts that I had gotten from Michael's um, to use as Christmas ornaments during the holidays. And so I was going through my um, little stash of craft products or whatever. Anyway, I came across these and decided to make some earrings. So they look like this. Um, you know, they come in different shapes and sizes and designs and all that stuff. You know, the really cute, intricate cut little um, wooden, I guess they're ornaments. That's what they're called, I'm assuming. I have little stickers. What are they called? Well, I guess. I don't know. But anyway, they're like, they range from between 50 cents to a dollar at Michael's. And so they actually had some on clearance. So I ended up getting a bunch of them at that particular time really cheap. And, you know, if you have that 40% off coupon, you could use it towards these things. Or you could download a coupon offline. Every week they have a 40% off something. And sometimes they have a percentage off your entire purchase and so forth. So you could grab some really cool stuff in Michael's. And you already know that. Well, anyway, went to Michael's and grabbed that during the holidays. So they were already here. And then I went to Target a while back. And they had some clearance too. So I got these um markers they're double pointed markers they have a fat tip and then a um fine tip on them and so these were 448 so hopefully you can see that so you get a fairly nice amount 12 with some great colors so what i did sitting watching tv one evening i made some earrings i just got a pair of those little wooden ornaments and I took some or one of the markers the red and the black I use the black on the outer areas and then the red on the um, surface areas and made these earrings all these are just regular old jump rings oops I don't know if these and that I've had on hand I mean if you make earrings or jewelry you'll have these um, or you can go pick them up they're like under three bucks Michaels, Joann's, any craft store, whatever. And then also the um, fish hook uh, earring hangers or whatever. You can grab those as well. So, yeah, all I did was add a jump ring and then the hook. And that was it. And, I mean, these are cute and they're very lightweight. And they're just similar to a lot of the ladies who make earrings or hand make earrings. Um, you know, just a different... I guess style and they may have had this like I said I don't know because I don't look like that um, for stuff like this I was just bored so yeah these are adorable and I think these are so cute here let me take out my little hoops and I'll put them on for you I thought these were adorable and so I'm not gonna you know like go and do it because I mean all it is is if you can color in a coloring book you can color these <laughs> so yeah these are really cute and I mean very lightweight so you don't have to worry about them being too heavy and you could bling these out if you want to or you can leave them like this choose pick and choose any color you can match outfits I mean I love these and again they have different styles I do like making my I mean I always make stuff I mean that's just me I'm crafty but um I'm not with the wooden shapes and stuff like that the ones that are just flat they don't have any detail or just cut out shapes I don't want to I like those but I don't I mean I'm too lazy I want instant gratification so I'd rather have something that's already detailed and all I have to do is put some color or something to it instead of having to drill a hole and put stuff on there but again if I had to I would but I don't really want to so yeah I like stuff like this quick and easy and these are adorable y'all and I mean look at the different types of shapes they have like these chandeliers and I can't wait to do these because they'll be true chandelier earrings <laughs> anyway these are cute so then they had these little scrolled um I don't know they almost look Asian to me you know they could either be the 
um, Victorian kind of lace look or they could be a little Asian you know like these look a little Asian with the red and black thing so yeah and then they have like a sort of a scrolled star shape I guess I don't know but these are so cute so yeah and I mean the holes are already there or the spaces are already there to where you can add a jump ring now you may want to be able to get different because jump rings do come in different sizes you may have to get a wider jump ring um you know just check the sizes they come in millimeters or whatever because i am so like not yeah because this is an uh an assorted um package so you can get like one assorted one and then have all the sizes in there if you need it and then of course the fish hooks you know you can get those um in packages but what I will suggest is if you get um, your jump rings and your fish hooks make sure they're the same color don't get a gold fish hook and then have silver jump rings uh, you know it's kind of tacky and just match it up according to sorry about that phone is ringing match it up to the size uh, I mean the um, color you know match the color gold with a color that will complement or the gold will complement whatever color, you know what I'm saying? So if silver works with a certain color, use silver jump hook, I mean, um, fish hook and the jump ring, whatever. So yeah, that's it. And I'm sure y'all know how to add a jump ring to something and a fish hook as well. So yeah, simple, simple, simple. And I mean, you can use Sharpies, whatever kind of markers you have. So yeah, really, really cool. So again, like I said, I got these less than five bucks just was bored one day and I did that and so I'm going to make some more obviously I had a bunch of shapes and I also had this little key I found this oops I found this key and this will be awesome as a necklace um all you need is just some of the um cording you know just make a quick slip knot and just tie it in the back once you color this or whatever so yeah I mean simple quick DIY that'd be great uh, something to do with your kids during the summer if they're bored or whatever like I was bored so yeah a great creative project for a sleepover or something or just if you feel creative and again you could add rhinestones and you know beads or whatever you want um, to these just be really creative think outside the box like I always say so yeah if you have any questions, like I always say, uh, feel free to leave it down in the comment box below or shoot me an inbox. And again, y'all, just have fun. You know, that's where the best creativity comes. If you just relax and just, you know, go with the, the creative process, you'll be surprised what you can't come up with. So, yeah, until my next video, y'all, I'll see you then. Bye.